Hello my friends, okay, so I'm coming to you with a Inglot haul. This is my first purchase from Inglot and I'm so, I've I just been dying to try out Inglot um, eyeshadows. So I picked up um, a palette, like a couple of things from Inglot. Some of the stuff I don't remember where I put it at. I don't know, my room is such a freaking mess, so um, I don't know. So the first thing that I picked up, and they were having this sale directly on the, uh, excuse me, Inglot website. I'm going to leave that below because they have a 50% sale off some of their items. So I did pick up a couple of things and I'll let you know which items I picked up that was 50% off. Um, so I picked this up and this is a face blush. Um, and I know that the color is really, really light, especially for my skin tone, but I actually use this um, up underneath my eye before I apply my um, my um, concealer because it leaves it like with the nice you see how it neutralizes a little bit of the darkness that's on my hand it does the same thing for my eyes but um, alone it is a nice um, blush it is pretty blendable um, I like liquid blushes anyway so I'm trying to look for a brush to kind of like blend it in so I can really show you that it's pretty um, buildable. This would be nice on my skin tone for like a highlight or something like that. It's not going to show up too much as a blush because I am um, pretty dark skinned. So um, the next item that I picked up from Inglot. Oh and this was um, I paid wait I'm trying to think was it $7? I think $7 for this um, I paid for this one. Yeah, it was seven dollars. I paid for this. Um, and remember, everything was fifty percent off. Um, some of the items, so I will tell you. So I, I, I also picked up this, and these are normally. Was this one on sale? No, this was um, the eyeliner gel, um, and this is number ninety-three. There, there. Um, this creases like I know that you're not supposed to use it. Well, it says for the eye eyeliner, like you're supposed to put it on your eyeliner, but I use it as a base one day, and this creased that this creased so badly, like so badly. This creased, so um, I don't know if I would use this for a base, but most of my eyeliners I can use them for bases and it doesn't crease. But this mama right here creased on me like nobody's business, it creased on me, um, so. I haven't tried it yet as an eyeliner. I probably should just use it what it's really made for eyeliner, but hey. Um, one of the best eyeliners um, that I have ever, ever used, ever, ever, ever used for my waterline is the Inglot eye Eyeliners, and this is number 77. This stays in your waterline because I have a problem um, when I'm using any other type of gel eyeliner. I have plenty of other gel eyeliners like a lot of them but they seem to always um, move around even if I set them and they don't um, stay in my waterline um, a lot so this one is one of the best one if you're looking for eyeliner that you can put into your waterline that will stay all day and even up here that it'll stay even here I usually have a problem with the um, eyeliners you know disappearing from here and also in my waterline use this eyeliner here the Inglot eyeliners the black one is really really amazing um so it looks like this it's a really nice dark simple black eyeliner okay and then um and I, I paid $12 for this this wasn't on sale then I picked up a face blush. Um, this is the cream. I just really thought that it would be a little bit more workable, but it's it's all right. Um, their blushes are really smooth, so that's the color of it. I don't know if I can really use it. Well, probably on my face. I haven't really tried it out too much. I know I'm always trying out stuff. I would probably use this as a highlighter. I wouldn't use this as like a regular um, blush because it just is not going to show up on my skin. But um, this is number 26 in the blush and I picked it up because it was on sale. I think I paid like $2.50 for this. 
Um, and then uh, items that I'm really, really happy that I picked up. Let me show you these before I show you the other ones. I picked up these on the regular Eng uh, Inglot website. I got these for $11, guys. And they normally run $23. So I picked up two of the 20 pans. And I picked up one of the 10 pan, 2, 4, 6, 18, yeah, 10 pan. This I paid $8 for. And this I paid $11 each for them. Um, I did buy some Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I'm going to fill this one with. And I bought some Coastal Sense eyeshadows, which I'm going to fill this one up with. My only problem with these um, palettes is, is that how are you supposed to get the eyeshadows out of here once you put them in not unless you have like a really strong magnet like they don't have like the pinholes in the back to where you can push it up through to put the eyeshadows in there so that's my only thing which I don't like about these but once I get them in there I'm not gonna like take them out be moving them around too much but I got this for a really good price they still are 50% off on their website um the Inglot website, I don't know whether it comes directly from a store when you place the order in, but I, I ordered two of these and wind up receiving just one of them. So I called the lady and told her that I only received one of them and the next day it was here. So as far as customer service, it's good. But I was just really frustrated that you only sent me one of them and I paid for two of them. Um, you know, I just, you know, I asked her, do you check your orders and stuff like that? So she said, yeah, they do. But people are human, so they do make mistakes. So, um, and I did order a blush, another blush from there, but they were all out. So they had to credit me my money back. Like most of the items that I ordered, I ordered like six more items. They still had them on the website. But um, when I got my order, I got a letter stating that those items were out of stock. I don't know why you would have them on your website if they're out of stock, but they had to credit me back. And I had to actually call them to make them credit me the money back on um, my inside my checking account. So I don't think I would order anymore from the regular Inglot website. Um, I, I wouldn't order again from them. I, I just. Uh, they just pissed me off basically so I'm not going to order from them again so I ordered this pan too and I ordered like three more um, concealers and they were out of stock so um, I just wanted a different array of um, concealers for when I do people's makeup or even on myself so I picked those up and these I only paid two dollars and fifty cents for them so it was quite affordable um, but I was also gonna go on to Coastal Scents website and I was gonna you know buy the rest of them to fill up in here because I don't want to have to be ordering stuff and then you don't have them on your website like that just pisses me off so um, but any other eyeshadows or um, concealer pans or pods however which way you call them they fit into these things so if you're looking for some um, palettes like to put your eyeshadows in and I like the fact that these are really sturdy and they're really heavy um, check out the regular website from Inglot and they still have them on 50% off um, I might buy two more two more of these because you really can't get a, you know these are a great great deal so I don't know um, I might, I might, I don't know what I would use them for, I might. So one of the um, items I ordered from Beauty List, it's a Beauty List, yeah, Beauty List, and I'll leave that website below. They sell Inglot um, products on their website, and I bought this pan, um, I bought the pan, and then I filled up all of the eyeshadows, you know, you can customize your own pan on their website so you know the Inglot eyeshadows I think they're normally $6.99 and you get quite a lot of eyeshadow um, for $6.99 they're much cheaper than the MAC eyeshadows um, so and just as good the only thing I don't like about this is that they don't have names for them everything is in numbers and I already put them in there already but I can see like you see how I can pull the eyeshadow out with you know just like doing it like that um, but who wants to keep doing that just so I can tell you the numbers and whatever of them but since this one already came out um, so this is number 504 
and this is the color of it it's a nice teal color oh my god that is so gorgeous look how pigmented that is that is just amazing gorgeous Inglot's eyeshadows are just amazing let me see if I can take out a couple more with using this thing here which one it'll pick up um, this one is 535 and this just um, a nude brown color just a simple taupey brown color and I like to use that to um, like just to blend out colors and then of course you have to have a regular black so this is 391 and this is just a really um, black color eyeshadow looks somewhat like a charcoal it doesn't look strictly black um, so I just picked up a couple of shadows from there and this palette cost me 143 and that's pretty good though because you know um, you get a lot of eyeshadows that are in there um, they really are pigmented so I really enjoy that I my first purchase from Inglot as far as their shadows and stuff and you get a lot I like of shadow this 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 is like so gorgeous it's going to probably take me forever to use these shadows because there's a lot there and I'm not going to be using it every single day. So I think that's it for my Inglot haul. I know that I'm leaving out something else, but I just can't remember. Um, I got stuff in boxes everywhere. So that is my Inglot haul and I will talk to you muffins later. I will leave all of the links below and bye muffins.